Hey guys, Patrick here with another out of nowhere thought piece, opinion piece. I know I don't comment on stuff like this very often, but again, this is something that I'm seeing now and I'm just like, I got to get my thoughts out there about this personally, just to get it off my mind, I guess you could say. I want to talk right now about what an absolute fool Tyrone Woodley is making of himself right now. He's, first of all, I can't believe that he actually got the tattoo. I mean, I guess props to him for, you know, sticking to his word. Oh, I lost the bet. I'll get the tattoo. But the only reason he got the tattoo was to get a rematch. But he's so stupid that he doesn't realize that the rematch will never happen. Which, the only reason he got the tattoo in the first place was to get the rematch because Jake Paul told him, oh, uh, you want a rematch? Get the tattoo. And he got the fucking tattoo. And he's like, all right, where's my rematch? And Jake Paul's like just ignoring him now. And it's like, of course that was going to happen, you fucking moron. What does Jake Paul have to gain by taking the rematch? He already made his money off of the fight. He already has, like, now defeating a former UFC champion under his belt on his resume. Yeah, what? Like, and the, the fight was considered a dud by most people in terms of entertainment value. So there would be, like, no financial incentive to do it a second time because it would make, like, zero money. You know, basically, Jake Paul has, like, nothing to gain and, like, everything to lose by accepting a rematch. So, but Tyrone is still under the assumption, like, oh, well, Jake Paul said that if I got the tattoo, he'd give me the rematch. No, he said he'd consider it. And let, let's get something else straight here. I used to like Tyrone Woodley a lot when he was UFC champion, to be completely honest. And I do not care for Jake Paul. But the facts are the facts. And the thing is, is Jake Paul won by a decision. And now Tyrone Woodley, you know, he can't stand it. And he wants a rematch. And he's doing anything to make it happen. When it quite obviously will never happen. And it's it's just sad. It's sad to see, you know, a 40-year-old man, former UFC champion with the accolades that he has, crying to this, like, little fucking kid being like, please, please, Mr. Jake Paul, please give me a rematch. I don't want to live with the shame and embarrassment for the rest of my life. And it's like, dude, be more like Ben Askren. He lost, he didn't give a shit, and he got over it. You know what I mean? Be more like that. Stop... Stop whining and crying for this rematch that will never happen because it's like, it's honestly just fucking with your image in the worst possible way. But that's been my thoughts on the subject. Let me know what you think about that down in the comments. I'm Patrick and I'll see you next time.